Hello again guys, uh, it's me Mr Corn. Uh, this is our fourth Keeping In Touch video. Um, the weekly video that I do just to say hello to all of you guys in Adlington class and hope that you're all okay. I had lots of emails this week which was lovely to hear from you all. And those of you that I managed to speak to on the phone on Monday, that was lovely to catch up. And I'll be doing that again this week. I'll either be phoning you on Monday, which is today, or tomorrow on Tuesday. Okay, be lovely to hear from you. Uh, and if I can't get hold of you on the phone, then also I'll leave you a message and I'll try again the week after. Now, I've got a few things I want to talk about. First of all, you might have seen already that over the last week I've been reading you chapters of Sky Song and putting those on YouTube. So hopefully you've been enjoying those. I'll be doing one every day next week as well, all the way up to chapter 24. And believe me, it gets very exciting. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. That'd be brilliant. Also, I hope you've seen Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Jenkins video about doing a poster for the NHS. That would be lovely if you could send me those on our email, which is adlington at stokeparkjunior.co.uk. That would be fantastic if any of you have got any entries for that. I've already had one from Poppy and it looks fantastic. So thank you, Pops. Um, I would also like to talk to you about Times Table Rockstars. We had a battle going with more class um, because we did the winners of the year four competition against the winners of the year three competition. So we were playing more. And I am, I don't know what to say, guys. I am blown away at the amount of Times Table Rockstars answers that some of you, not all of you, I think, come on, guys. I think a lot of us in our class can be doing much, much more. We play more when we're actually at school, some of you. So come on, what are you doing? So we, we won the battle against more class, but only just. Now, our Adlington scored 21,353. So that's... 21,353 times tables answered in a week, which is mind-blowing. However, big, big, big thumbs up to more class who got 20,972. With Lewis Schofield scoring 10,000 of those on his own. So well done to you, Lewis. That's fantastic. And Adlington, you guys have got a lot, a lot of work to do. Because whilst we scored 21,000... 18,000 of those were from Poppy on our own. Poppy, that is <clears throat> absolutely amazing. So well done to you. And well done to Phoebe and Florence, who came in second and third as well. I'm really, really happy to see you guys doing your Times Table Rockstars. Now, guys, if you haven't started playing Times Table Rockstars, it's so important. You know I always go on about Times Tables, so fingers crossed you can get yourself onto that at some point this week. It'd be lovely for me to see you playing. Now, I've got a few children to say hello to. I'm afraid my laptop won't let me download the thing I need to put our pictures in. But However, I can talk to you about the work that we're doing. I had a lovely email from Megan. It was lovely to hear from you, Megan. Megan's been going on lots of walks and she's even found road names. Sent me a picture of them as well that spell out her name when they're put all together, which is amazing. Um, I had a lovely email from Florence. It's lovely to hear from you, Flo. Been making brownies with her dad, going on lots of bike rides, doing lots of hard work with her mum. And it's nice to hear that you've even now got a seat for Ralph so he can come on your bike rides too. I had a nice catch up with Taylor on Monday when he popped into school to collect some work. And Taylor, I'm seriously, seriously impressed that you've upped your press-ups or push-ups amount to 10 a day. Keep it up, superstar. Kira has been working really hard on her Anglo-Saxon work and been practicing her spellings. I had a lovely picture of those. And Kira, I'm seriously impressed with your handwriting. Keep that up, superstar. Had a nice email from Harrison, he's been practicing spelling, he's been doing lots of reading, he's finished Fantastic Mr. Fox, he's been doing PE with Joe Wicks, he's been helping his dad cook on the barbecue, and his dad gave him an extremely smart haircut. As you guys can probably see, I need a haircut too, so Harrison, I might be asking your dad to do mine for me after this lockdown's finished. And also Harrison has managed to run a five kilometre run in the woods in just 29 minutes which is amazing. Now, for an adult, doing a five-kilometre run in under half an hour is really hard work, and it, you know, I'm really tired after I do that. So, Harrison, I don't think we can have a race because you're going to beat me. I had an email from Emily, who has been crazy busy. emily has been helping her mum and dad out with the hog shack stuff, which I've had some pictures there. Emily, you look like an absolute natural. She's been doing lots of science, making lava lamps, doing lots of gardening, doing lots of cooking. Cornish pasties and Rocky Road. Amelie, make some for me and bring them in, please. That would be lovely. 
Emily's even shaved her dad's hair off, which sounds like it would have been good fun. Is Fraser going to let you go near his? I think at this rate, he might have shaved mine off, Ems. I've had an email from Poppy, who has been really busy, obviously on Time Stable Rockstars. She's even been going on Time Stable Rockstars instead of YouTube to get our class more points. So Poppy, me and the rest of Adlington class, seriously, seriously thank you. You're a real superstar, and we are um, amazed by your effort. It's... It's above and beyond. You are well done. Thank you. Poppy's also been making homemade pizzas, which sound delicious. Been uh, seeing her Cubs group on Zoom, having meetings with them, and has been doing some gardening with her carrots and radishes almost ready to pick. And Poppy, please tell your dad. Poppy's dad emailed me and said, the only positive of lockdown is that Saints can't lose. And you know what, Mr. Isaac? I could not agree more. Long may that continue. Okay. And then I've had one last email from Phoebe who's been working her way through loads of maths work, which is fantastic, has been doing lots more artwork, going on lots of walks, and has also been doing some VE Day baking. And Phoebe, much like I said about Amelie's there, it sounds delicious. You are more than welcome to bring me in anything you like when we're back at school, okay? Well, guys, like as always, I'm missing you absolutely loads. I cannot wait to see you when we're back in school. I'm in school this week on Monday. And on Tuesday morning. So if you're in on any of those days, I look forward to seeing you. If not, I'll be phoning you this week as well and hopefully we'll get to have a catch up. Keep washing those hands, keep staying safe and I'll see you soon.